Calculating depreciation, the straight line method. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate depreciation using the straight line method. Before we start, this video assumes that you've watched the first video on depreciation and you understand the term and the concept. If you've not watched this video, make sure you check out the video first so that you understand what we're talking about. Firstly, depreciation is a reduction in the value of an asset over a period of time. Now, to be able to calculate depreciation, we can use different methods. Now, calculating depreciation is done for the purpose of accurate accounting and valuation of the business. Depreciation has to be calculated. Now, depreciation is a cost to a business or an expense. It's money going out of a business. And depreciation will mean that your value of your assets is actually going to fall. One of the methods that we can use is something called the straight line method. And this is the most simplistic and common method of calculating depreciation. This is because it assumes that depreciation is a constant amount over a period of time. If you look to the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that I've drawn a straight line where I've got year one, year two, year three and year four. And by using this method, we take £1,000 worth of depreciation off each year. Fairly straightforward. I'll explain how we come about doing that in a moment. So to calculate the straight line method of depreciation, we need to know three pieces of information. We need to know the initial value of the asset. So how much did it cost to purchase that asset when it was brand new? We need to know the estimated residual value, which means, in other words, how much is it estimated to fetch at the end of its lifespan? And we may use some information that's in the media, for example, maybe a magazine, a trade magazine, which tells us what other people are selling that item for to get that residual value. And... We also need to know the expected life of the asset. So in other words, how long do we expect that asset to actually last for? So let's take a look at an example. There is my van. And as you can see, it cost me £16,000 when it was new. The van is expected to last for five years and will be sold for £4,000. We can now take that information and actually calculate the depreciation using the straight line method. So, let's come back and see what figures we've got. The initial value of the asset is £16,000. The estimated residual value is £4,000. And the van is expected to last the business five years. So, step one is let's first work out how much depreciation is going to take place on the asset. So, we need to do £16,000 our purchase price, take away our residual value, which means that actually... We have £12,000 worth of depreciable asset costs that we've got to take into account. So really, we've taken away what it costs to what we'll get back at the end. And we're looking for that bit in the middle now that we're going to work out depreciation from. Now we've got that. It's really simple. So we know that that £12,000 in the middle that we need to work out our depreciation. We've got five years worth of expected life. So what we're going to do is divide 12000 by 5, which gives us £2,400 depreciation per year and that's really simple we calculate depreciation using the straight line method in our accounts we'd always now use that figure 2400 pound for the next five years which obviously would write that value of that asset down to the 4000 pound which obviously we're going to sell the asset for in the end that is how straight line depreciation works thanks for checking out the b business b youtube channel don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at B Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like. It's facebook.com forward slash B Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on bbusinessb.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.